Welcome to top three tips for retail sales. Would you agree most shopping experiences aren't something you'd rave about to friends or family members after leaving the store? The truth is, most retail salespeople are mediocre and are simply doing enough to keep their jobs. I wish to give you valuable tips to pass on to your staff to inspire them to realise the service they give can make all the difference to your clients' lives. Instead of having your staff thinking of themselves as order takers, we wish to pass on the skills to uncover your customers' motivations and not just offer what they want, but also uncover why they want it. Then identifying the perfect solution, including any additional items or accessories. We want your staff to create desire for owning that solution, solving problems and in some instances even fulfilling your clients dreams. Sales professionals handle any concerns that clients have and they always ask for the sale. Cancelled orders, exchanges and returns are very rare when following our proven methods. Selling should be respected as a true profession and there are elements that need to be ticked off to be proven competent as a retail sales professional. If we take a step back for a moment and look at four other respected professions that relate closely to retail sales, things start to get interesting. The first is an architect. Just as an architect creates and follows a blueprint, designing a building from the foundations and building up, a sales professional may move some parts of the sales process around to suit the certain situation. However, closing a sale would be difficult without first uncovering the customer's pain points and desires, then demonstrating some of the suitable benefits of the chosen product. The next profession I'd like to use as an example is a painter. Sales professionals may know the specifications and dimensions of a product, However, using creative words and stimulating customers' desires to visualise owning the product or getting a specific goal achieved can turn a black and white presentation into a full hyper-colour experience for the customers. The third profession I'd like to look at is counsellors who get paid to listen to people's concerns and complaints. Like a counsellor, if your staff can repeat three words often, tell me more, they will find an effective way of uncovering customers' concerns and desires around purchasing a product. The last profession I'll briefly touch on is entertainers, who in most cases have to do the same show over and over again, still keeping it fresh and entertaining for the audience. Sales staff can experience this, perhaps demonstrating a product for the 100th time. The truth is, customers deserve a stellar performance, despite how many times the presentation has been gone through or what the sales professional's feelings are around the product personally. Every presentation should be as fresh as the first time. Next, I'll cover three areas your staff should be competent and well-rounded on. Operations, product knowledge, and salesmanship and customer service. You see, a sales professional may be top-notch at asking all the right questions to discover the customer's pain points and desires, then move on to the products and know very little, making it very hard to recommend the right product. Or similarly, may get through the whole process and then need a manager to assist with the operations side of the business transaction as they don't know how to request an item from another store or book in a delivery, etc. Making the process less smooth for the client and hindering the chance of raving about the whole experience to friends and family. The third tip I wish to give today before putting a bow on it for this video is knowing your competition. Your staff should learn everything they can about your competition. Knowledge is power. There's a good chance other stores and websites carry merchandise that competes directly with what you are offering. Some may hold their own and others may just not even come close to what you offer. However, 
having your staff know their stuff will help them greatly. Knowing what experiences your customers will go through shopping your opposition can greatly increase what you can improve on to make customers want to shop with you and buy from you. What they don't know can hurt their sales and your bottom line. My final tip for your staff building their competence is to prepare for their day. Surgeons check that all equipment and instruments are ready before starting an operation. Plumbers check their truck to make sure all their tools are ready. Singers do sound checks. What about your sales staff? Have they ever been embarrassed to find that an item was out of stock or missed a sales opportunity because they weren't aware about the latest promotion? Professional salespeople take a few moments each day to update themselves before they go out on the floor to assist customers. They may examine new arrivals, check on new promotions, identify display changes, find out what's sold, read their store ads and review their sales goals. An old friend shared a saying with me yesterday after reviewing this content, and please excuse my French, it's the seven P's method. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be delivering more through Facebook Messenger. If you've found value and you wish to get more, you may enjoy checking out our membership offer at sellingyourservice.net. The membership offer at sellingyourservice.net will be covering preparing for success, measuring your success, the customer's point of view, personal spaces, your physical approach, what to say after hello, transitioning to business, engaging dilemmas, working a busy floor, the quick tour, the goals of probing, asking effective questions, enhancing trust, building value, features and benefits, who are you selling to, presentation strategies, the comparison trap, experts giving bad advice, build the sale, it's the right thing to do, turning objections into sales, price objections, closing, a logical conclusion to a job well done, getting started, a celebration of thanks, resolving customer complaints, personal trade, 50 powerful sales questions, plus heaps, heaps more. Click the button below or check out sellingyourservice.net. Thank you.